two inch. If you get hit with two inch hail, it's gonna do a lot of damage to that car. Big hailstorm just hit Colorado and unfortunately my car was stuck in a little bit of it and I did get uh, just like two or three dings in my car that I'm going to be getting fixed and I will document that process for you guys. Also one of my friends out here in Colorado actually had his Model 3 hit in the hailstorm and it was hit a lot worse than mine and actually has quite a lot of little dimples all over it. So unfortunately um, his will probably take a little bit longer to fix than mine. His is also a Model 3 rather than my Model S so I don't know if that'll have much of a difference but either way we'll be getting them fixed and I'll uh, document that a little bit for you. But I've been looking for a way to protect my car more so in hail. Unfortunately at my office at work I do not have a covered parking spot and if I'm driving and hail starts up there's really no easy way for me to find a covered parking spot. What's in that box is going to save a Tesla. It's going to save any car really for that matter, not just Teslas. This is actually a product from Landmoto and it is considered a car umbrella or a car tent. This is something you can deploy that will cover your car in case of hail, but you can also use it during winter for snow. You can use it during the summer to keep your car cooler. Uh, there's a ton of different uses for this and it's really kind of cool. Been doing a lot of research on it. Decided let's go ahead and go with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this for you guys and then we have some extreme tests we're going to put this thing through. So this is the 4.8 meter long model. They actually do have a shorter one should you desire that. But Tesla Model S is an extremely long car. Therefore the 4.8 meter will pretty much cover the entire thing with I believe an exception of like 2 inches on the front and the back. Uh, but this is one of the biggest ones on the market, so if you have a Tesla Model S or X and are looking for something, this is pretty much your go-to. So this is it. This is our Land Moto car tent, and actually you can see their website right there. Um, I'll also put a link down below to their Amazon page and you can check it out. It's nice. It actually is a very compact size, and I think that's pretty important too, so that you can easily store it in your car. Now for me, during the summer months, I'm going to be keeping this bad boy in my car all the time just in case there is that freak hailstorm, especially while I'm at my office or while driving home. I can easily deploy this and feel a lot more comfortable about my car. Now these do cost between four and five hundred dollars, but currently they are on sale about a hundred to one hundred and forty dollars off each depending on which model you want and they have a couple different styles you can go with. You can get some that stand up on their own so you don't need a car so you can kind of use it like when you're camping and stuff. This is just the car tent though. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. A few moments later. Okay, so we will unpack this. Comes with your handy dandy operating steps. Here you can see the base is a giant suction cup and that is what will actually attach to your car and hold it on there with a few straps and everything. Okay, the first step is put car tent onto middle of vehicle. So open that up. Yeah, so Easy you got enough. the suction cup, so undo that. And that's the suction cup? Wow, that's, that's the suction cup? That's huge. Yeah, huge! Wow, oh, look at that lever. Yeah, okay, it says pull down suction handle. Pull down. Okay. Oh yeah, it's really on there now. now. So automatic, press open on remote control. Oh, here it is right here. I got it in my hand. Kind of like your old fashioned key fob. Not so much like the Tesla one, but yeah. a normal car. So press open. Is open lock or unlock? Probably unlock. unlock. So it's the bottom button. Oh. There you go. Oh. Uh, I think you see the... Okay, we have it backwards. <laughs> okay, I guess we're supposed to... It makes more sense. The handle's supposed to be on the side so that you, you can... Hey, we've got wings. It's like falcon wings. Here's most of it. Still a little bit sticking out here. How's it in the rear? Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. Is the rear covered? Pretty much. Okay, and then you actually do have these. So these these loops go around the wind, the, the side mirrors. Yep, so we can adjust those. Put the loops around there, that's good. And then you can tighten them up if you need to. I mean, it looks like there's a lot going on here. The way the Model S slopes a little bit, it's right above there is where the suction cup is. So it does kind of slope a little bit, but I mean, meh, just for the rain. It's got vents. So if the wind does come in there, the vent will allow the air to get out. You know, just like when you have an umbrella that can oh, be flipped yeah. inside out. This has technology. You're using yeah. side vents here in front of it to allow the air front to get vents. through. Here you can see the top. That's actually where it is. There's some just some extra straps you could hook down if you want. 
like this. If you really wanted to, you could probably hook these somewhere, like right there. Um, we have the mirror straps on, and then these back straps, we actually just tucked right in here, and they seem to be holding really well. You can, you know so here, you can see, basically covers that. And then on the front, which is the most prone spot, we're pretty darn well covered. Same with the sides. And the nice thing is, is they actually have these little protectors all over. And like all these pieces right here are supposed to be anti-scratch and everything. But yeah, all the little protectors everywhere. There's no open ends to stab you. Okay, so here you can see it is suction cupped right there. And there's, you know, there's actually where you charge it if you need to. And like, I mean, it looks like really well built. This is awesome. This yeah, is kind of nice under here. Okay, so being that we put this up, I really think it deserves to be put through its test. And to do that, I actually purchased some ice molds, uh, spheres. I got half inch, one inch, and two inch molds. So we're going to make our own hail, get on the ladder, get on the roof, and throw it down and see how my Model S fares. So uh, what do you think about that, David? Sounds like a plan. Okay, so first up, we're gonna test half inch hail. So this is just, the storm's just getting started, so it's like really light, right? Oh. <laughs> Bounces right off. Oh, looks pretty good so far. Oh, oh unfortunately it landed on this side, but hey. It, it worked. Good. Okay, so next up, we're gonna up our game to one inch so next up, we are upping the game to one inch hailstones. You might get... Yeah, it's like all just uh, going right off, look. Now it's time we up our game. Two inch. If you get hit with two inch hail, it's going to do a lot of damage to that car. A lot of damage. So, um, hopefully it works. Oh, it's gonna take out a camera. Oh, look at that. Ugh. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Prove that these are real ice balls. The safety strap, which we didn't hook up yet, you, you do this, you roll your window down, stick this in there, and then it prevents somebody from just taking this. It's still, I mean, if they wanted to, I, well, no, do they have like metal cable in there? It feels yeah. like. Yeah, so there's actually uh, reinforced in there. Yeah, because I was going to say, somebody might try to slit it with a knife, but it feels like there's a mm -hmm. metal cable or something. And in there. one thing Tesla owners could do too is if they have the panoramic roof, they could slide it back a little, put that oh, down yeah. through the roof instead of going all the way to this. Okay, so we're now using three contact points on each side. So the rear one just goes right here. And then we have the one around each side mirror. And then the front one's just on the wheel well right there. But like, I mean, this is super sturdy. And as you can see right here, it has water repellent, so it just beads up. Okay, so as you can see, the Land Moto car tent clearly blocked almost all the hail. The only thing, though, is with an abnormally large or long car, you just want to make sure those measurements add up. But I will say, on a Model S, I couldn't be happier. And uh, I'll definitely be keeping this in my trunk, for sure. And also, this will fit in the trunk of a Model S. And for all you Model 3 owners, this will more than fit your Model 3. As always though, if you guys are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. And if you're looking for any new or inventory Model S or X, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below. And at the top of our website, using it will actually get you free unlimited supercharging. As always though, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Used to keep it cool.